There's a very loud animal in here. I'm hoping one of my next guests will make a rather unusual entrance. <laughs> I'm still hoping. I'm gonna hope all night. Well, that was Joe. Goodbye, fella, and thanks for the memories. Uh, please welcome Roy Toft and Lola. It worked great in rehearsal, didn't it? Huh? It worked great in rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it worked well here, too. He stands, is that all he does, Joe? Yeah. He just makes an entrance, stands on his head, does a little drop on my hand, and it goes. That's comedy. Can, uh, can any bird be trained to, to do this? An uh, osprey or, uh, let's say, a blue jay? <laughs> no. Well, there's, yeah, there's a lot of different types of birds. There's 9,000 different types of birds, so um, some of them can be trained to do certain things. Yeah. Um, we do I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> we do... I have gas. We do the... Is it funny? <laughs> it's so funny. Can you see how this could work? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's a, some birds who can have to do certain things. Yeah. We, um, we do the Ray Berwick show down at the Wild Animal Park. You don't have a shotgun, do you? <laughs> You're not on yet. That's, that's her buddy back there, yeah. so she's on. Oh. <laughs> Lola's laughing. What else does Lola do? <laughs> well, one of the best things that parents do, and that's why they're featured in shows a lot, is they can mimic sounds. Obviously, she's laughing and she's crying, but she can mimic some, um, some animal sounds. You can pick an animal. What? All right, uh, pig. Can you squeal like a pig? <laughs> amazing. That was amazing. Uh, can she bark like a dog? Bar bark like a little dog. No, that's a duck. <laughs> that's her duck. Bark like a little dog. I think that's a car it's a alarm. big, big dog. <laughs> She's doing everything she knows now. Bark like a little dog. Oh. Like a big dog. <laughs> that a girl. That's amazing. That's amazing. So it's, yeah, it's really interesting because they hear a sound. If they like it, they'll try to copy it. And um, so these guys are all day long trying new things out. If we're there, what we do is we'll run up and say, that a boy, and give them a sunflower seed. They love these. It's not in their tray of food that they normally get, so it's kind of a treat. It's actually that. not that good for them. It's not that good. It's, it's high in oil. Yeah, yeah, so they only get this, like peanuts. I have birds, and they're corn-fed, and uh, of course they run free. <laughs> but uh, it's true. I have African gray parrots. Uh-huh, yeah, they're and great. They, they can whistle and maybe sing. Can this one sing? Um, this one can't sing, but mm -hmm. a little bit we have a, talk, a singing parrot that's really well known. Yeah. And, um, oh, oh, that's Poncho, isn't it? It's Poncho. Yeah, yeah he's an opera singer. So in a little bit, we'll. What get else can I, can I hold Lola, or would that be a danger? You, well, <laughs> could we sign any release forms before I came? Up? You probably can. You you have birds, so. Yeah, there you go. Well, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nope. <laughs> uh, but um, down at the show down in San Diego, we don't only have birds. Of like this, parrots, we have birds of prey, we have hawks and eagles and falcons, so it depends on what bird you're working with, what you want them to do, or try to demonstrate. It's a free flight show we do in San Diego, so it's all free flight. And we would like to say, a lot of people see parrots and everybody wants to run out and get one. Make sure that they're domestically raised, yeah. because there's still a market in um, poaching animals out of the wild, and yeah, it's bad. You know, that doesn't make a good pet, and the animal's horrible, and the people that have the animal are horrible. Parrots can be really loud, and they're kind of destructive sometimes. They're like a two-year-old, so they're kind of into everything. And yeah. So it's best to get one that's raised in captivity and it's happy and it's used to being around people. And, and, they, but, and they also become very attached to one person and yeah. uh, well, regurgitate <laughs> on... Uh, it's, it's true. That, it is true. Uh, yeah, they're monogamous. a yellow nape like this will, will get so close to uh, its owner that it will regurgitate it, on, on the owner's face. Uh, it thinks face. you're its mate, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, uh, now let me see. Uh, how about Poncho? Is there any chance we can get Poncho out here, or is it? Uh... Yeah, I think we can. We have him right here. And Where, is he's that ready Poncho to go. back there? That's Poncho back there. I knew it was doing noise. something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get we'll get him out. Let's 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 get Poncho out here. Okay. Your turn, he, Poncho. He um. There we go. He does 
He does have a, um, his own record out, by the way, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. For real, for real. He has his own record. <laughs> this is not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a bestseller. Uh, yeah, this, this beat to Sir With Love, uh, that particular album. That There's Poncho. Ah, Poncho. Ah, well, what kind of a bird is Poncho? Ah, well, it's, it's very similar to Lola. He's an Amazon, so he's from Central and South America, but he's a double yellow-headed Amazon, so he has a lot of yellow on the head. And um, he's very excited, as you can see, to be out. Can you say hi? Hi! Can you say that a little softer? Hi! Yeah, yeah. Can you guys hear that okay? More, more, more. When he gets, when he gets ex wait a minute, Roy. He gets excited. <laughs> so uh, he likes to warm up. He was, um, he was raised with an opera singer. So he actually lived with an opera singer. She used to play the piano, sing opera, and he used to copy her. So that's how Pancho learned to sing in an opera type style and a cappella. And he only holds a note. Does Want to warm up? Any, anything in particular? Or? Um, he sings, um, we can have him hopefully, Bally High. There you go, all right. What else? Any, any other, uh... Well, um, this is probably the one he's most well known for. Tony Bennett made this famous a while back. So if you recognize it, I. Oh, we'll do that one later. I. I. Oh. I left my heart. Is it amazing? Yeah, it's amazing. It is. Uh, but one thing I noticed about uh, this particular kind of parrot, the African grays that I have, which are smaller, they actually mimic my voice. I mean, right. they get low in voice where it... Whereas uh, the uh, yellow napes, and I know this is interesting for all of you, uh, generally speak in the same voice, but just to make sure that you're not a ventriloquist, why don't you just uh, try that again? You drink the water, and let's hear the birds sing uh, oh San Francisco. Okay. I'm lucky my throat's kind of dry right now. Hi. Hi. Well, hi. Nice to see you. Hi. 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 He has one more song. Oh. <laughs> right. We, we, we got to go. Okay. But thanks a lot for coming, and I hope you'll come back with the hummingbirds. Oh, I'd like to. Okay. We'll, we'll be right back with Bye. singer Chris uh, Isaacs. So stay with us.